Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video, we will have a look at the P80 Polymer 80, uh, basically factory serialized uh, firearm. Uh, this is basically the equivalent. I did start with a Polymer 80, 80% uh, frame. So, uh, and uh, all the parts in this uh, firearm are Polymer 80. So we have basically. Uh, the same what they sell serialized just without the serial number and the second is by the factory uh, items this part here is a uh, red anodized it's about that red uh, that you have instead of black the older versions had the black one uh, the rest is a uh, basically the same completely the same like uh, the factory serialized products. I wanted to test that out and uh, order the parts in February and uh, by May uh, with a lot of hassle we finally had the, all the items here. Uh, I made already three videos about the horrible uh, customer service from uh, Polymer 80 so uh, make sure to watch that before you uh, push the trigger and uh, order anything from anywhere so what we have here is the factory threaded bottle in it. We also have a, just a factory plain bottle. Uh, then the item uses or comes with the uh, Magpul uh, magazines. Uh, depends on the on the idea where you leave either 10 or 17 rounds. Uh, the trigger kit uh, comes usually with a curved trigger, regular trigger and with uh, a flat trigger like we have it here. I just wanted to test out the flat uh, polymer trigger here as we have it here. That works out really well. The trigger pull is uh, absolutely great. The item uh, was completely dry so uh, nothing on the slide etc was, was a factory loop not even uh, where the uh, the typical copper grease is for the for the clock uh, for the disconnector part there uh, nothing at all so I of course did uh, disassemble it check it out uh, loop where needed and then I wanted to go and test fire it and uh, we had a lot of uh, stove pipes and uh, failure to feed uh, because the inside of both bottles uh, the chamber and Quite likely the feeding uh, part, the feed ramp here, uh, had some some uh, residue or rougher parts or whatever whatever it is, some roughness from from uh, the finish as the finish is applied, that nitride uh, color color uh, colorizing, the nitride uh, finish on the stainless steel uh, slide and and the uh, bottle, and uh, that needed to get out and uh, be. Uh, polished that uh, you can either do that by shooting about 50 rounds uh, through it and uh, deal with a lot of malfunction or you have uh, something like this uh, it's just a, a fiberglass rod that is a uh, uh, a bit uh, smaller in diameter in the front uh, then uh, some steel wool and if you want a bit oil and then you basically go in and with a cordless drill you uh, polish that out and uh, do the feed ramp as well. Uh, that is not abrasive so uh, there is no uh, no medium uh, that that uh, removes the finish or uh, make any part of the, the metal uh, looking not black or um, you know that it would remove metal. Uh, that just removes the, the rough parts and once I did that no problem at all with the function the item did work really well uh, from start we had absolute good accuracy together with that trigger and the really good sights on this uh, model they were really nice adjusted so that by now it works out really well it was just a, a lot of trouble to get there as we uh, look on the sides uh, we have a, a, just a, a square notch with the serrations on the back side and on the front side. Then we have a, a white dot in the front. The, it's just a standard side, but it was so well adjusted and they, I don't plan to put a red dot on it, so we leave it like that. Then we have the new bigger screws, torque head screws on the optic plate. 
Then uh, we have uh, on the threaded ball the P80 engraved there. On the regular one we don't have that, so this one could be an older version that they wanted to get rid of. Uh, we have a, a nice uh, stainless steel slide that got uh, quite some uh, milling and the forward serration and that long, unique long uh, cut in here. Then we have the loaded chamber indicator. Uh, this one you need to be really careful because that sticks out uh, absolute uh, little once uh, you chamber around. Of course now it's flush, it's uh, empty. But uh, compared to a Glock, uh, this one sticks out relatively uh, little, so you have a hard time uh, feeling it. Just a standard uh, slide stop, and uh, the magazine button is uh, that way, and the other way uh, cross cut uh, serrated there, that it gives it a bit of a unique look. It's a bit uh, taller, I would say, than a standard Glock, and not as tall like an extended. Uh, Glock factory one, so uh, they made that, that that fits exactly for their uh, pistols. Uh, the disassembly uh, lever is also sticking a little bit more out, and of course we have here the, the dimples on the pins. That is all nice. For a recoil spring assembly we have a standard uh, polymer. I'm going to replace that with a stainless steel. And then we have the Threaded muzzle, usual thread here in USA, but we see how bad the the uh, cover is fitted on the on the uh, muzzle there. It's standing over with that o-ring and all that, so that doesn't look too good uh, compared to my we the people. Uh, nothing to do with uh, polymer 80. That is a nice flush fit, uh, nicely done, like it should be. So uh, there, there we need to do something about it. Uh, look with aftermarket parts. And the uh, last thing I want to mention is a uh, Glock magazine. If you uh, get the thing, it only uses the Magpul magazine. And uh, one thing to upgrade would be to uh, use factory Glock magazine. Uh, in this case, Gen 5, the latest and the greatest with the orange follower. And a steel lining, of course, like usual, uh, that you have minimum one magazine that you can leave in the gun of those uh, because that gives you uh, for sure a, a better uh, reliability than uh, the Magpul one. The first Magpul ones many years ago, as they came new out, were not that great. I did test it out back then too, but uh, by now they they gotten pretty good. It's just uh, nothing compared to an original Glock magazine. Yeah, so uh, that much about that. Uh, would I buy it again? Well, uh, if you need a gun that works out of the box, no. Uh, if you have a bit of time to fiddle with it, uh, maybe. Uh, if you uh, need customer service like I got it uh, for over months, uh, surely not. I would not uh, spend that time anymore uh, yeah it's that's why I tested things out to see what we get and how it works so it's up to you it's also the debate of course uh, what is what is uh, better to have a factory uh, built serialized FFL item gun or like this one uh, 80 percent uh, basically like the original but just without a serial number and that reddish uh, slide cover plate uh, that is up to you uh, depends on the area on the prices etc skill set and all that so uh, for me uh, personally i will quite likely not buy any polymer 80 product directly by polymer 80 anymore because the customer service is simply not there uh, you see that on the facebook uh, rating as well uh, it's not only about me and all that, and uh, that is how that is, it's unfortunate, but uh, yeah. So that much about the uh, Polymer 80 uh, Glock 17 style factory pistol.